Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the question and answer for September 27th, uh, 2023. I'm about to say 1923, 2023. And if you don't know, we do these every Wednesday, and they're just questions that I have received from emails, comments on videos, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, now known as X. Is it easy to turn your work mode at the end of the day? Turn off your work mode. Um, you know, that depends. I, of course, you know, you see that I'm in my bedroom and I, you know, use my personal computer and then I just turn off the applications, go get me a cup of coffee. This is a very weak peach tea. Um, for other people, they need to be in a separate room to kind of just have that mental barrier at the end of the day. Um, but it, you know, you get used to it when you start working from home. Will you leave live ops? You know, I took a break from live ops earlier this year and came back. And right now the plan is to, uh, right now the plan is to do a full-time job and then a part-time job. So we will see where that goes and how that all turns out. But no, I'm not leaving live ops again. What are some metrics that companies use? So average handle time, AHT, and that is how long on average your calls take. And another one is schedule adherence. Are you taking your breaks and lunches on time? Are they going over? Are you late? Another, uh, excuse me, another metric is your customer satisfaction scores, otherwise known as CSAT or CSAT. And a lot of um, companies do base it on having 95% or better um, over a course of blah, 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 blah time. Um, another metric would be after call work, ACW. This is the time in between calls where you're writing up notes, getting the account finished. And so that can, you know, you do want to do that during the call. But those are just some of the metrics that a lot of companies use. What is a clean desk policy? So one, you see my drink, that would not be allowed. You see my phone, that would not be allowed. You see my pen and paper, that would not be allowed. A clean desk policy is where the only thing on your desk is the equipment. And that is it. Um, some companies, as far as like banking, some healthcare companies have clean desk policies. So it's always wise to ask during the interview to make sure that that is something you want to do. I see Netflix on your TV. What are you currently watching? I always love Ancient Aliens. They're my favorite. Unsolved Mysteries. Um, international documentaries. True crime documentaries. I like those a lot. Um, your serial killer documentaries. Love those a lot. Um, on Disney, I am watching Ahsoka because I, I was really, really impressed with the initial couple of episodes, so I've been caught up on Ahsoka. Um, and that's about it. Weekly versus bi-weekly pay. So, you know, this really has a lot to do with your own personal budgeting style. I like weekly pay. It's not as a lot as often, but you know that every Friday, every Tuesday, every whenever your payday is that you're getting something. Um, as far as bi-weekly pay, I do like the larger amounts of money. Um, sometimes you have to wait that three weeks for your first check if you're at the beginning of a pay period. So that can be a little aggravating, but other than that, um, a lot of it just really has to do with your budgeting style. Now, if you're somebody, maybe you have kids or elderly parents, and you know that you need that money every week for like medicine, school programs, you know, kids need clothes, kids go to the doctor, um, something happens to the car, and if that works out best for you to have weekly pay, then definitely look at companies and ask them. What is zero-based income style? So for my budgeting videos, which I have totally let go slide to the si side, to the side. Bleep, 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 bleep. Let me get a drink of peach tea. I haven't done budget videos. I, 
I've just got a lot going on right now, and that's no excuse. It's just a lot. Okay, so a zero based income style is a dollar for every place and a place for every dollar. So I manage all of the money. So say I have a thousand dollars, okay, and six hundreds to rent, and two hundred to groceries, and a hundred for the phone and internet. I get really good deals on phone and internet. Yeah, your girl does. I mean, I cut my internet bill in half by negotiating. Um, so, and my phone is a prepaid phone, so I, I don't mess with a lot of newfangled stuff with it. Um, and then, say you only had $6 left, and you decide to put that $6 towards savings. And I am a big proponent of people having savings. You really need to have at least two to three months worth of savings and I'm not talking about a little bit like for example this year's been rough I don't know about how the rest of you all are doing but this year has been very rough with people funding jobs um, hiring freezes classes being canceled so you know um, you need to have at least two months of your rent, your utilities, your food. Um, you need a roof over your head, you need the lights on, and you need to feed your family. Um, so whatever that amount is, you need to be prepared to put that away. How do I handle work schedules when I'm at home? Um, so uh, one of my jobs is going to be overnight. It is going to... Um, train I don't know the training time for it yet but I, it'll be an overnight job um, and that's very very wonderful for me the other job is during the day so I will get up work nap work nap and continue with the next day um, I am on that debt reduction journey um, I have paid off some of the debt already so as of this video, um, I have paid off one of the medical debts entirely and one of the loan debts entirely so far. So that is good. Um, I'm definitely looking to put money back. And there's some people I want to bless too. So, you know, it's just managing your time. I don't have kids though. So don't think that, oh, Becky has kids. Becky's juggling this. Becky's doing this perfectly. I don't have any small children. Okay, should I pay my 1099 taxes quarterly or annually? That is up to you. Now, I highly recommend using QuickBooks Self-Employed because that can go ahead and tell you how much you owe quarterly. You can do your income, deductions, expenses, and things like that. And then you will be able to see, oh, this quarter I owe this much. Or annually I owe this much. I use TurboTax to go ahead and take care of paying my taxes that way and I've never had a problem with them okay everybody thank you so much for stopping by my name is Becky and I will see you next time